Hello students, uh, myself Nuhal Kodiya from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in today's session, we have to discuss one method of solid modeling that is beta representation or boundary representation. In last session, we discussed one method of solid modeling that is CST. And before that, we already discussed more three methods that is sweeping, primitive intensing and cell decomposition. Okay? So in today's session, we have to discuss boundary representation. So using boundary representation, how to convert any of the model from 2D to 3D or how to generate 3D object. Okay. So boundary representation, in boundary representation, first we have, we have to understand that number of surfaces like closed surface. So what is the meaning of closed surface? One that is continuous without breaks. So in closed surface means that surface is closed without any types of drag in that surface. Second that is orientable surface. One in which it is possible to distinguish two sides by using surface normal to point to the inside or outside of the solid under consideration. That is the orientable surface means we have to combine two surfaces and make one uh, model for a model. Next one that is boundary model. In boundary model of an object is compromise or close and orientable faces, edges and vertices. In boundary representation we have to combine any of the body with number of faces, number of edges, number of vertices. Okay. Next one that is topology that already we discussed in first lecture of this chapter created by Euler operation and next that is geometry. Include coordinates of vertices, rigid motion, and transformation that in convert con consider in the geometry. Okay, so this is the input uh, information of the boundary representation. Now, object modeling with boundary representation. Now, we have to understand this uh, theory with considering one object that is a uh, cube. In one type of cube, we have to discuss some of the primitives or some of the entities of this cube. Both polyhedra and curve object can be modeled using the following primitive. So first primitive that is vertex. Vertex means if we have one a cube, then that cube have a eight vertex. Clear? So a unique point in space or a ordered triplet in a space means we have a unique point means we have to define coordinates of that particular vertex. Second one that is edge means we have one cube and that time a number of edges is there so total number of 12 edges in that cube okay so a finite and non self intersect directed space co bounded by two vertices that are not necessarily distinct means edges means if you connect two vertex point and generate <coughs> one edges okay that already you know if you combine two vertex with straight line and that straight line considered as a edge of the cube. Next one that is phase. If we have one cube, then total number of six faces is there. So finite and finite connected non-intersecting region of closed orientable surface bounded by one or more loops. Now what how to generate any of the faces? If you combine a number of uh, edges here and you generate one type of face. If you combine four, four edges at that time, one face is generated. Next one that is a loop. Loop means if you generate any of the hall in that cube at that time, that hall considered as a loop. Clear? In, in that hall, top, top circle and bottom circle both considered as a loop. An order of alternating sequence of vertex and edges a loop defined non self intersecting piecewise closed space curve which may be bounded by faces. Okay, next one that is a body means the cube is considered as a one, one body. If you generate any of the cylinder inside the cube at that time, that body is considered as a second. Clear. And next one that is genus. Genus means hall. Means if you generate number of hall in the cube at that time, each and every hall considered as a genus. So, uh, understanding boundary representation, first we have to understand these all things. Vertex, what is age, what is face, what is body and what is genus. Now, now we have to use, using Euler equation, we have to validate that any of the uh, solid model is uh, safe or not. Clear? Yeah. 
Now next that is boundary representation. Now Euler operation. Now in first that is original object, first figure, second figure that is modified object. Means if you modified uh, first original body in uh, two method there. Yeah. If you uh, increase the number of vertices in above direction or if you increase number of vertices in below direction. Next one that is nonsense object. Means the, this nonsense object means you cannot convert this original body in that type of figure. Clear? So first figure is original body and second and third indicate the modified object and last figure indicate the nonsense object. Okay. So we have to in original object uh, you can easily understand that one square is there. In that square four edges is there, one face is there and four vertex is there. Okay. In modified object we increase one vertex. If you increase one vertex at that time also we have to increase one edges. Value of E is equal to 5, value of vertex V is equal to 5, number of faces is equal to 1. Okay, so this is the simple. Now we have, you, we have to, we already know what is Euler equation. And we have to satisfy that Euler equation for uh, uh, checking the validity of any of the solid model. Now, volumetric properties calculation in boundary representation. It is possible to compute volumetric properties such as mass properties by virtue of gas divergence and theorem in convert volume into ingredient to the surface integrals. Okay, so if we have to validate any of the object at that time we also consider the mass of the body and volume of the body. Okay, now we have to uh, explain or we have to understand that Euler, Euler's law. Now what is Euler's law? Now we have an equation F minus E plus V minus L is equal to 2 times V minus G. For the general solid model, for simple solid, we have one more equation that is F minus E plus V is equal to 2 and simple last that is for the open object F minus E plus V minus L is equal to V minus G. So once we have to validate any of the object at that time left hand side of the equation and right hand side of the equation value of both is same at that time we can consider that object is a complete solid model. Okay, so in Euler equation we have to use. Now in general solid object we have one equation that is F minus E plus V minus L is equal to 2 times V minus T. Now F indicate number of faces, E indicate number of edges, V indicate number of vertex, L indicate number of loop. Capital B indicate number of body, capital G indicate number of wall. That already we discussed in first slide. Now we have to consider some object and from that object we have to use Euler equation and validate that object. Now first figure, in first figure you can understand that is a simple solid cube. So in simple solid cube we have to calculate how many edges is there. So capital E is equal to 12. From first figure you can easily understand that how many edges is there. That is 12. How many vertex, vertex is there. So it is uh, v is equal to 8 and how many faces is there that is f is equal to 6. Now you have to use equation f minus e plus v. So answer is 2. So our right hand side answer is also 2. That means this object is a fully safe or fully validated object. Clear? Same way uh, here we give also one or two more object is there. So in second object you have to calculate number of edges, number of faces, number of vertices use the Euler equation and check that that object is valid or not. So here I give total 4 objects. So other 3 objects you have to check it by yourself for counting edges, vertices, spaces and using Euler equation. Okay. So this is the validity checking for the simple solids. Now we have two validity checking for the complex object. So validity checking for simple object that is F minus E plus V is equal to 2 for simple solid. So here now we have one cylinder is there. In cylinder number of edges is equal to 3, number of vertex is equal to 2, number of faces is equal to 3. So the, the Euler equation and we can check where it for the cylinder, cone and half circle. Okay. So you can check it by yourself using Euler equation and counting the edges, vertex and faces. Okay. Now uh, last one that is validity checking for polyhedra with in, inner loops. Now we have one object that is Q. In that cube, we combine uh, two extra cube, one for the yellow color and second one for the 
15 color means total three cube is combined. So now we have to use for the complex uh, object we use the equation that is f minus e plus v minus l is equal to two times v minus c that is Euler equation. So we have to first calculate left hand side and then after we have to calculate right hand side and uh, if answer of left hand side and right hand side are same at that time we can consider that body is a fully uh, valid. Okay. So uh, first we have to calculate number of edges. So for the main or uh, main cube total 12 edges and extra cube you have two cube is there. So each cube have a 12 edges. So total edges is 36. Number of faces is equal to 16. Number of vertices is equal to 24. Number of loop is equal to 2. And number of body, this body is considered as a single body because total body is of 1. And number of genus means in genus means hole. So there is no any hole in this body. So value of G is equal to 0. Now you have to put all the value in the equation. So F minus E plus V minus L. That means 16 minus 36 plus 24 minus 2. Answer is 2. And right hand side answer that is 2 times V minus G is also 2. That means uh, this object is a fully validated. And uh, this is considered as a, a solid a solid object. So in boundary representation, how to generate any of the object means if you want to generate a solid cube at that time, you have to combine six faces, two from the side, two from the top, and two from the left hand side. If you combine six faces at that time, you can generate one solid object. So boundary representation that means what? If we have to combine number of faces and generate a solid object, either that object is complex or simple, we can generate using the boundary representation. Okay, so this is the simple method to generate any of the object from 2D to 3D. Or we have, and after the generating object, we have to validate that object is a so complete solid model or not using Euler. In the last session, we discuss about constructive solid geometry and in today's session, we discuss about boundary representation or beta representation. So, in the next session, we have to discuss feature-based model.